So you guys asked for an unlimited bamboo farm. If you didn't know, bamboos can be used as fuels in your furnaces in Minecraft. Yes, in Minecraft, not in real life, all right? Wait, maybe you can use it in real life also. I, I don't know. This one is including with a flying machine, which is going to be very, very easy. And it's going to produce a lot of bamboo. And it's also expandable. As usual, I'm going to be showing you how this farm works. Then move on to how to build this farm. All the timestamps are in the description of this video. Make sure you check out the description. Because also, I have my survival series link in the description make sure to check out my survival series as well so let's get it started so as you can see this is the entire farm and it's completely expandable it is expandable by this side so you can go entirely to the entire world and then come back all the way around so this side is expandable unfortunately this side is not expandable because of the flying machine so i'm going to be demonstrating how this works all you have to do is come down over here and flick this lever and you will see that the flying machine will start working and oh boy look at that look at how good they're going look at that and all the bamboos are being harvested and once it comes this side as you can see it will be done entirely and you can just switch this on once again and it will go to the other side as well so as you can see it will come till the end and now all you have to do is come down over here this is the collection system and bada bam look at that it's flowing in so fast it's so fast it's, it keeps on coming that's it now here we have the ultra mega flowing system collection system whatever you want to call it there are around 12 mine cards because this side is fixed you can't expand it there are around 12 mine cards to collect all the bamboos also why we have an expansion over here is that because when the flying machine moves when it comes to the end it might just throw in a few bamboo over here as you can see we have a few bamboo over here you can definitely all you have to do is go ahead and expand the collection system until in the front over here and the collection system will just collect it as well as you can see in this side also we have a few bamboo left now i did not expand it over here if you want you can expand it just by two more blocks so you would not miss out any bamboo at all now of course you could build this as tall as you want so it is advised to build as tall as you want or else you will end up over here as you can see just like this that's just two of it i'm just gonna throw it down and the collection system will take care of it so the bamboos grow very very fast so you don't have to worry about uh, the speed it's going to be very fast and you're going to get a lot of bamboos in no time as you can see it's still coming down it's still coming inside it so just like that this is exactly the entire farm so these are exactly all the materials that you need in exact amount so go ahead and grab them and let's start building it so the first thing we're going to be building is the flying machine and after that we're going to be doing everything else so you're going to start off by placing two blocks remove this block and you're going to be placing six slime blocks it's going to be one two three four five and six and increase two more over here and another one and remove the middle one and add a sticky piston that's facing inside next thing you want to do is add another sticky piston over here and add slime blocks right there and add one two three and four four more slime blocks and it's going to look just like this i want to go ahead and grab your observer place an observer over here and a normal piston over here and another observer over there i want to turn this side and repeat the same an observer a normal piston and an observer go ahead and grab some random blocks and keep two blocks exactly over here as well and the next thing you want to do is grab obsidian and place the obsidian exactly over here and another obsidian right on top of this piston and of course it will drain it will freaking drain every time i do a tutorial it's okay it's fine place a redstone on top of the obsidian and place a block on the redstone just like this two more blocks remove the mid block and then keep an observer over here now once i remove this block you will notice that the flying machine will start working you want to go ahead and go to the front of this layer exactly and as much as you want you can go and keep an obsidian on the second layer so if you want the farm to be bigger enough make sure you place it on the further away if you want the farm to be bigger so there you can see exactly when it comes here it's going to stop and now you want to repeat another step which is going to be placing an obsidian over here redstone on top three blocks behind 
remove the middle block and place an observer remove this block the flying machine will go back to where it came from now on this observer keep a lever and on the other observer over here keep another lever this is exactly what you're going to use to operate the flying system and as you can see the flying machine is actually ready this is exactly how you do a flying machine now as the flying machine is back after this step it's actually very very simple guys what you want to be doing is we're going to be creating a border now as you can see the flying machine is exactly over here the obsidian is over there this is where i'm going to be starting off and i'm going to be going all the way over there i'm going to switch the flying machine on so it goes to the other side as well and i'm going to make the border over here as you can see and i'm going to go all the way to that side until i see this obsidian over here as you can see this is the obsidian and we're going to make the border now this will be our border the flying machine as you can see will only be traveling in this border and all you have to do is go ahead and plant bamboo in every single one of these dirt blocks inside it's up to you to expand the entire farm and like i said before one next thing you want to do is go ahead and add glass blocks or any kind of blocks i would suggest you to add glass blocks so it looks better so as you can see i've made it as tall as i wanted to you can make it as tall as you want Make sure you add glass blocks about the observers over here once you've added glass blocks right above the observer next thing you want to be doing you can add glass blocks over here as well and all the way over here and one step down as well that's not a problem and exactly in this spot you're going to be using leaves if you use normal blocks instead of leaves then those slime blocks will just take away these blocks as well and that's uh, gonna be annoying so this time when i was building i built it uh, further away so you don't have to build the extension i just build the extension fully and this is what we'll be doing so that's actually a good thing you don't have to worry about it you want to come to this side and repeat and add the glass like same like you did now as you can see i've added it on all the four sides now we want to come inside and what you're going to be doing over here is you want to be adding a border right over here what you want to be doing is you want to add leaves over here as well this is this is what is going to be a border and also add the exact leaves below in the bottom layer as well all the way across just like that you want to repeat the same process on that side as well you want to come over here where the obsidian is place leaves over here and over here as well this is exactly what the border will be and you're going to be adding bamboos in this layer of the dirt everywhere over here now as you can see i've added bamboo everywhere on the spot and you're actually done with the entire bamboo farm except for the collection system yep now we're going to be adding the collection system now for the collection system you want to come to this corner over here and you want to go down by two blocks and three blocks exactly like this and as you can see we're down by three blocks and you're going to remove two blocks over here except for this block and from here till that end over there you're going to make an entire space underground so as you can see, I've made an entire space inside and this is where our collection system is going to be. The collection system is going to be pretty easy. Now what you want to do is you want to lay blocks entirely in the bottom layer. Which is where we're going to be adding rails. So guys, as you can see, I've added all blocks in the first layer. Now we're going to be adding rails on top. Now you might ask how I should be able to get in because it's a one block size. Don't worry, I have a trick for you. That's exactly why we have a water bucket. What you want to be doing is you want to go ahead and place water over here. And then just try to swim in the water. And once you're inside, bam, you can take the water off. And just like that, you're actually, as you can see, he's actually swimming without any water. Yeah, that's how it works. Minecraft. So go ahead and grab your power drills and your normal drills and you want to be doing exactly what i'm doing lay two three power drills over here so once you put three power drills over here you're gonna lay normal drills all the way to the front so i suggest you to add a power rail for every 10 blocks i'm gonna add two power drills over here for every 10 blocks or something like that and go to the other end add a power drill and go a little bit more and make sure you add at least adding one power rail in the end you only want to repeat the exact thing on all of this platform over here so once you're done with that you want to come to this part over here and you want to actually place hoppers below the power drills over here this is going to be right over here so i'm going to be grabbing my 14 hoppers that i have and i'm going to place the hoppers exactly like this once you've added hoppers you're going to just go ahead and place the power drills and finish it off 
once you've added the power rails the next thing you want to do is add the redstone torch to all the power rails below now what you want to do is once you have three power rails you can place a redstone torch right below the middle one so as you can see i'm going to go one block down and then right below the middle one and once you place it exactly in the middle block you're going to see all the power rails lit up and you're going to repeat the exact process to all the power drills over here and in between wherever you add it now once you're done adding all the redstone torches the next step is to add your mine cards go ahead and grab mine cards and place it on this block and add a block over here add a block place your mine card add a block place your mine card and just do it for all of the 12 ones just like that for the last one we're going to be placing bam and now all you're going to do is go ahead and place your double chest over here and you are done with the entire farm as you can see those rails will keep on going back and forth to collect all the bamboos now some of the bamboos have been grown now i'm going to start the flying machine and bam once you switch it on you're going to see the bamboos getting harvested and we're gonna wait until it goes to the end and the collection system will collect all the bamboos and put it in the chest just like that and it's also pretty fast as well because we're using around 12 hoppers as i said before bamboos is the fastest growing ones and it's very very useful to use it as fuel now if you come down over here you, can, you will see bamboos so there's one more thing that you need to make sure is make sure you keep the redstone torch below the third power drill and not below the second power drill. If you keep the redstone torch below the second power drill, the hoppers will not work. And that's exactly why we're not getting any of the bamboo inside. If you check the mine cards over here, you will see that the mine cards do have bamboos, but it is not coming inside the chest. That is because we have kept the torches on the second lane. Do not do that. It's going to be very confusing for you guys. So make sure you place the redstone torch on this layer and not this layer on the third layer of the power rail now once you place it i can see that the bamboo is starting to come in just like that thanks so much for watching this video make sure you smack the like button and subscribe to the channel and also check out my survival series and i'll see you on my next video